All right. Hi, everyone. Thank you guys for joining us today. Happy Lunar New Year. Can I see everybody wave if you can hear me? Oh, I see some hands. Hi. Hi. <laughs> if you guys want, you guys can go ahead and use the comment function and let us know where you guys are from and what school you guys go to. I would like to know how you guys got here. Got here. There you go. Yes, thanks for joining me. Today, I am your MC, and I have three special guests. Um, I have Tina Huen, who is an assistant professor of music education at the University of Puget Sound. Everybody say hi, Tina. Hi, Tina. Hi, Tina. And hi, I also everyone. have Miss Yanji Lu who is a board member of the Chinese Reconciliation Project Foundation. Everyone say hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and our last guest is also Miss Yifan Soon, who is a Dean of Instruction at Bates Technical College. Okay. So we have three okay. special speakers aside from myself tonight. So before we get started, I just want to thank our partnering organizations and each of every one of you guys for joining us today. So let's get into the fun facts of Lunar New Year. So this year, 2022, Lunar, Un Lunar New Year started on February 1st. It is a time of reunion and rebirth which is marking the ending of winter and the start of spring. So some people who say Chinese New Year's, Happy Chinese New Year's also say Happy Lunar New Year and Happy Spring Festival. It is based off the Chinese lunar calendar, which means that there are 12 different zodiac signs, 12 different animals, and each year it changes from one animal to another animal. So not only is... Lunar New Year is celebrated in China. It's celebrated in other East Asian countries as well, like Vietnam, North and South Korea, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Singapore, and other Asian countries. So here are the 12 animals that represent the Chinese zodiac signs. We have the year of the rat, the year of the ox, the year of the tiger, the year of the rabbit, the year of the dragon. Anybody want to read number six? Snake. Snake, the year of the snake. It sounds like you guys really want to be super interactive. I don't know if I should just let you guys take over. <laughs> we have the year of the horse, the year of the goat, the year of the monkey, the year of the rooster, the year of the dog, and the year of the pig. This year is the year of the tiger. Last year was the year of the ox. And next year will be the year of the rabbit. So we had a picture of our very own friend, PBS Kids, Daniel Tiger, because he's our special tiger. <laughs> you guys like Daniel Tiger? Give me a thumbs up if you like Daniel Tiger. Yeah. Yeah, he's so great. Teaches us a lot of life lessons. So here is the Chinese zodiac sign, and it shows all the years that it converts from one animal to an, another animal. So it transitions, transitions from year to year. So this year is the year of the tiger. As you can see, it says 2022 right there. Do any of you guys see your birth years and what zodiac sign you are? Does anyone know and want to share? 1986 is my daddy year. My daddy is the tiger. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Go ahead, Xavier. So my, daddy, my daddy is the tiger. Ooh, so it's your dad's year. Yeah. That's yeah. really cool. Santita is raising her hand. Uh, my, my year is the horse. Ooh, you're born the year of the horse. I see. Heidi, did you want to go, sweetie? I see you raising your hand. Um, 
That's my mom's name. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, you sweetie. What's you your name? Out. Chevelle. C H E V E L L E. That's a beautiful name. And what is your zodiac sign? Um, mine is the horse. My dad is the tiger, and um, my dog is the pig, <laughs> and my and my mom is the rooster. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! I love how you shared your dog zodiac sign. <laughs> I love it. I see. Um, it says Emily, and we have two littles raising their hands in the background. Tristan. And? Milo. What year are you? I'm the sheep. Ooh, you're the sheep? The mouse. The and a mouse? Oh, a rat. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Horse. Mom's a horse. Miss Selena, we also have Samantha who has her hand up. Okay, Samantha, go ahead. Everybody needs me. Uh, mine is the horse. Ooh, we have a lot of friends who are the year of the horse tonight. Mm -hmm. Her name's Nia. Wait, my name's Samantha. What is her name? Nia. Nia. Thank you for sharing, Nia. It is a tiger. I think I have other friends raising their hands. Do we have time for more friends or should we use the we chat can, function? We can do one more and you guys can share in the chat as well. Okay, let's go with, I think, Marta. I see you have your hand raised. Could be mom's name. You got to unmute. I'm a rooster. Oh, you're a rooster. Okay, so thank you all for sharing. If you want, you guys can use the chat function. I see that we have somebody all, already sharing <laughs> in the chat function. So you guys can connect with one another right there also. Um, we're going to welcome Miss Yanji Lu. She's going to share a special story with us. So if you guys can, please stay muted. If you guys want to have any sharing comments and all that, we can use the chat function, okay? Good evening, everyone. I'm going to share this book with you called Lunar New Year, written by Hannah Elight, illustrated by Alina Chow. On the first day of the Chinese calendar, the new moon is in the sky and the stars shine bright. It is time for a big celebration. This festival is known by many names, Chinese New Year, Spring Festival, and Lunar New Year. It marks the passage of the harvest season and celebrates the coming spring. Each New Year is represented by one of 12 different animals of the Chinese zodiac. The animals are the rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. Before the New Year celebrations begin, we clean our homes and ourselves. This symbolizes washing away anything bad from last year and starting fresh. We feast and celebrate with our families because Lunar New Year is about preparing for good luck in the coming year. And it's also about family and honoring our ancestors. Many of the holidays traditions come from a very old tale. There's an ancient Chinese legend that tells of a monster named Nian, who had the head of a bull and, box, and the body of an ox. Once a year, Nian would come out of hiding and scare people. But the monster was afraid of three things. The loud crackling of burning bamboo or firecrackers, the color red, and the bright lights of lanterns. Today, we light baozhu or firecrackers, lanterns, and fireworks. And we hung red signs with blessings to keep Nian away. 
Red symbolizes good luck. We also display other things that represent luck, such as the Chinese character Fu, elaborate knots and paper cuttings with beautiful words or pictures. The Lunar New Year celebrations last 15 days. During the first days, we visit our friends and family and we stay up all night enjoying the company of one another. We eat dumplings filled with all sorts of de delicious meats and vegetables. Because the dumplings are shaped like yuan bao, an ancient kind of money, we hope that they will bring wealth and prosperity in the coming year. Children also receive red envelopes with money from their parents grandparents, and other family members and friends. These are called Hongbao. This tradition comes from the legend of an evil spirit called Sui. Parents used to thread eight coins on a red string and place them under their children's pillow to protect them from the spirit. On the 15th night, the full moon returns to the sky and we honor the end of Lunar New Year with the Latin Festival. We celebrate with parades led by people dressed as dragons and lions. These animals bring us good fortune and luck. And we gather once more with our friends and family to eat sticky rice balls. This special food is round like the full moon and it reminds us to live the new year in harmony and happiness. The end. That was a great story. So this Thank is you. a picture um, of the dumplings I made this year. So normally the dumplings are, um, the wrap is made with flour and water um, and we have all different sorts of fillings. So um, I want to ask if anyone ever tried dumplings before, what is your favorite feeling? Chicken dumplings. I like chicken dumplings. I like chicken dumplings. <laughs> yeah, that is one of a very popular feeling. So when I grew up, my mom used to wrap a few candies in the dumplings. So whoever ate those special dumplings in New Year will have special luck. Now we're going to have Miss Tina Huin present. Everybody give her a warm welcome. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, Miss Selena. Thank you so much for introducing me. And I love how you said my last name so perfectly, by the way. <laughs> Boys and girls, my name is Miss Tina, and my last name is Huin. And you can try it too. Can you try saying my last name? Huin. Go ahead, give it a try. Huin. That's right. You did it just right. It so good. I think I heard Xavier. He did it so good. Win. Exactly. I think I heard um, Chevelle. I think Chevelle sang it really, really well, too. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did it. Beautiful. But you can call me Miss Tina. That's okay. And I want to give a shout out to Miss Sunley out there. Hi, Miss Sunley. She's uh, a wonderful, wonderful person. And she is here to see... Uh, all of you boys and girls and all of our guests here today who are sharing special things with you about the Lunar New Year. And she is from the Asia Pacific Cultural Center. So we want to thank the Asia Pacific, uh, Pacific Cultural Center for um, helping us be a sponsor here or being a community partner, I should say. And today, um, me, I'm going to teach you a song. How about that? I like to teach um, songs to children because I'm a music teacher. And so I really like to hear children's voices. So you know what, boys and girls, you can unmute because I love to hear your voices. And I'm going to teach you a song. So I'm going to sing the whole song first. And I'm going to sing it in Vietnamese. And then I'm going to sing it in English. Okay. And then I'm going to teach it to you in Vietnamese. And I'm going to teach it to you in English. How about that? Like the idea of that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. I see some thumbs up. 
I see some smiles. Look at that. Okay, so here's the song um, in Vietnamese. It's called Mẹ Chúc Tết. And that means I wish you a happy new year. Now, the new year, the lunar new year, happened this year. You know, it's different every year because it goes by the moon whenever the new moon is. So it's not the first of every month or anything, the second of the month or the third of the month, but it depends on the moon. So you have to look at the moon. When you have a new moon, in january or sometimes february then it's the new year and this year the lunar new year was on february 1st it was on february 1st but what's today boys and girls can someone just tell me out loud what is today february what february february 11th yeah today's february 11th i think that was samantha but i'm not sure but today's february 11th but we're still set up celebrating the lunar new year you know why because when lunar new year comes around you don't just celebrate it for one day you celebrate it for several days some people celebrate it for whole two whole weeks and some some people celebrate until the new the full moon comes which is about two weeks and in depending on the country that you're in you might celebrate it for a whole month. Can you imagine celebrating for a whole month? That's so cool. But yes. so over here, we're celebrating and it's a f it's not February 1st. It's not really the Lunar New Year, but it is February 11th and we can still celebrate it, can't we? So let's sing. I wish you a happy new year. I'm going to sing it to you first, okay? Here I go. Tết đến rồi, vui thật là vui. Em mặc áo mới đi chúc Tết họ hàng. Em chúc ông bà sống lâu thật lâu. Em chúc cha mẹ mạnh khỏe luôn. Hmm, do you like the sound of that? Can you give me a thumbs up if you like the sound of that? Oh yeah, and maybe you don't understand it, but maybe you do because you're Vietnamese. But if you don't understand it, I'm gonna sing it to you in English. Okay, here it is in English. That is here, full of fun. I'm wearing new clothes to greet my friends. I wish my grandparents lived so long. I wish mom and dad to be so strong. Oh, I get, I think everybody understood that. Show me thumbs up if you understood the lyrics to that song, the words to that song. Good. I see the Villegas family. Someone's got their thumb up. Thank you, Santita, over there. They've got their thumbs up. And I see Yuvia and Myra, their thumbs are up. And Emma, I'm not sure, but I think she understands too. So, um, that in English, or that in Vietnamese is that, but in English it is Lunar New Year. So, Lunar New Year, that's three words. But in English, it's only, I mean, in Vietnamese, it's only one word. It's that. Give, give it a try. Say it. That. That's right. That sounds so good. You just said Lunar New Year. You just said three words, but in Vietnamese, it's just one word. You see? Thank you, Selena. In the chat box, she wrote that. T-E-T. And that means Lunar New Year. So in the song, it says, that is here. That means the Lunar New Year is here. And then we say, Vui tak vui. Oh, that means very, very. We're happy. We're really happy. In English, I just call it full of fun. I like to say full of fun. And then in Vietnamese, the next line is, Em mặc áo mới. That means I'm wearing new clothes because in the new year, you put on some new clothes and um, you go around to the neighborhood and you greet your relatives and your friends. And you wish them a happy new year. So the next part of the song is, which means I greet my friends or I greet my relatives. And then the next part is, that means I wish my grandparents. I wish them to live a long time because we want our grandparents around as long as possible because we love them so much. And then, Em chúc cha mẹ, which is, I wish my grandparents, cha, I mean, my parents, cha mẹ is parents. It actually means dad and mom. Cha is dad and mẹ is mom. Mạnh khỏe luôn. 
which means we wish them to be really nice and healthy and strong. So during Lunar New Year, it is normal for people to wish each other to be strong and healthy and to live a long time. So make sure that after we get off today that you wish your grandparents to live a long time and that you wish your parents for uh, to be very strong and healthy, okay? All right, here we go. I'll sing one line and you repeat it in Vietnamese. Here we go. Ready, your turn, go. Exactly, that sounds so good. Okay, here's the next part. This is the second line. Vui, thật vui. Ready, go. Yes, that means very happy, full of fun. Here's the next part. Em mặc áo mới. Ready, go. Yes, that's right. That means I'm wearing new clothes. Here's the next part. Đi chúc Tết Ho Hàn. Ready? Oh, so many boys and girls doing a really good job. It sounds like you know Vietnamese. That means to go say hi and wish your neighbors and family a happy new year. Here's the next part. Em chúc ông bà. Ready? Go. That's right. I wish my grandparents. Here's the next part. Sống lâu thật lâu. Ready? Go. Oh, it's so beautiful. You sound so beautiful. I love it so much. Here's the next part. That means to live a long time. Here's the next part. Em chúc cha mẹ. Ready? Uh huh. That means I wish my mom and dad, or dad and mom, or you can even say parents. And here's the last part. Man khoe lu. Ready, go. Wow, to be so strong. That's how it goes. Beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna do it in English. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. That is here. Ready, go. That is here. Mm -hmm. Here's the next part. Full of fun. Ready? Full of fun. It is full of fun. Here's the next part. I'm wearing new clothes. Ready? I'm wearing new clothes. Yeah. Here's the next part. To greet my friends. Mm -hmm. Here's the next part. I wish. Oh, I wish my grandparents. I wish my grandparents mm -hmm. to live so long. To live so long. Here's the last part. Are you following along on the screen? I wish mom and dad. Okay, here's the last part. To be so strong. To be so strong. Oh, you got to clap for yourselves. Good job. All right, let's do the English version. Did you see on the screen how there's one line? And there are four lines? Yeah, I want you to sing along and we're going to do the whole line. One line at a time, okay? There are four lines. So I'll sing the first line first. That is here, full of fun. Ready, go. That is here, full of fun. Wow, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to sing the next line, the whole line. Wait for me to finish. I'm wearing new clothes to greet my friends. You got it. Here's the next part. I wish my grandparents to live so long. Here we go. I wish my grandparents to live so long. You got it. Here's the last part. I wish mom and dad to be so strong. Ready? I wish mom and dad to be so strong. You got it. See, I think I see Holly singing along. <laughs> and Mary and Marta. I think they're singing along. And Johnny, too. So thank you so much. And now Melody, her name is musical. So I bet you she's singing along in the back there. All right, let's sing the whole thing in English, okay? We're going to sing the whole thing from the top to the bottom. 
all four lines. Are you ready? Ready. Here we go. You're going to sing it with me. Okay. Cool. Sing. Don't wait for me. Sing with me. Ready? Here we go. That is a I'm waiting close to I wish my parents could so long. I wish that you be so strong. Wow, you are so good. Clap for yourselves. All right. Happy Lunar New Year, everyone. You learned a new song today. So if you remember, you can sing it to your parents and your grandparents later, okay? Have a beautiful day. I'll be right here, but I'm going to go to the background so that we can have our next fun activity. Yes. Thank you, Miss Tina Huynh. Thank you. She is the music educator at University of Puget Sound. So she really just showcased her great work with all of you guys. So let's give her a round of applause. We're going to be welcoming Miss Yvonne soon. And I am going to help her out. Um, if you guys could just raise your hand to participate and I'll call on you guys. Thank you so much, Selena. And I'm so proud of you all are Cleaners. Um, my name is Ifan Sun, and you can call me Miss Sun. Good evening, families and little pumpkins. Happy Chinese New Year. Um, tonight, um, after you learned so much about tradition of the Lunar New Year, who is ready to learn some Chinese characters and have some games with me? Are you ready to learn and play games? I see some thumbs up. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to start sharing my screen. Give me a second. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you see my screen. Yay. All right. Ready? Let's go. Chinese characters are based on. Uh, we call it pic, uh, pictographic. That's a language made of pictures. And many of people think the characters are pictures of the words they represent. In fact, very few Chinese characters are actually pictures uh, of the words that represented it. And usually they are the most ancient Chinese characters. Are we ready to learn some of the characters? Okay. Can someone tell me what do you see in this picture? Go ahead, Heidi. I see you raising your hand. You Cheval. I'm sorry, I said mom's name. <laughs> Chevelle. Chevelle. C H E V E L L E. Just say the call. Just say the call, please. Just say the call. I'm sorry, sweetie. Go ahead. A mountain. Okay, and what do you see here? Um, maybe a sideways E. <laughs> That's a good, this, yeah, you are so smart. I never thought about it. But actually, this is the character in Chinese representing the picture you just see on the right side. And this is Shan. Can you repeat after me? Shan. Who can give it a try? Fantastic. So now you all learned how to say mountain in Chinese. So can, can someone give me another try? Okay. We, we will remember this character. We will play the game. Okay. Remember how Shan looks like. This is Shan, okay. Next one. What do you see on the right side here? You guys can unmute. Mm -hmm. Water. Yes. Uh, yes. Ocean, boat, uh, mm -hmm. And Chinese Water. character right on the left. Uh, it will Sky. be Shui. Oh, you see sky, yes. <laughs> but actually, this Water. character, uh huh, it's Shui. 
in Chinese, who want who want to give it a try? Just unmute yourself. 水水水水 Okay. All right. We're gonna remember this character. We will play the game. 水水 All right. Ready for the third one? This yeah. is easy. What do you see for this one? Sun. Yeah. Sun. You guys are so smart. Sun. We. 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 Sun. We. Yeah. We. 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 It, is, it will be pronounced as zhi. This is a hard one. Zhi. Yeah. Zhi. That's a hard one. Zhi. Zhi. Yeah, correct. Yeah, right. yeah. Do we still remember this one? Yes. What yeah. is it? Sun. 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 G. 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 Ready for next one? We haven't done this one yet. Moo. Yes, it sounds like moo. Move. Move. Okay. Move. Ready for a game? Yeah. 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 All right. So there is a character behind the pictures. And I'm going to remove the picture. And you see, you will see part of the character you just learned. And the first one gets the character. Just feel free to unmute yourself. And tell me what's the character you just learned. Shall we try from the first picture on the la on the top and this one? Tiger. And you see the character behind it. What is it? Sean. <gasps> Sean. <gasps> Who's it? Yeah. That's so smart. It is Sean. Oh my God. I, I only got one picture and you got Man. it. Man. Yeah. You are so smart. You got it. Yeah, next one you get. Okay. Good job. All right. Want to try the second one this time? I'm going to start from the third picture down bottom here. Ready? Oh. Oh, Scott. Wait, no, wait. Yeah. I hear Sean. I hear Sean. Yes. I think I will try give it try this time. Is that true or ru? This is the song, right? Yes, good job. All right. We want to try the third one. Okay, this time I will try the last picture. Oh, we know that one. What is it? Sun. No. Yes. Who's that? No. No. You guys are so smart. I don't need to. I just removed one. I got it. All right. Last one. Yeah, so we'll start with this one. <gasps> Trey. Who's that, Trey? Trey. Trey. Correct. Trey. 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 Well done. Tree. Tree. Oh, I'll get it. I'm so excited. All right. Well, it's not uh, as difficult as at all for you all. Congratulations. Well done. Welcome down. Good job. Back to you. You guys are a very smart group. You guys picked that up so quick. It's like you guys all 
or bilingual, trilingual. That this is prime. great. What so, triangle mean? That means that you can speak three <laughs> languages. That is a great question. What's my fourth language? <laughs> what languages can you guys speak if anybody wants to share? Spanish. 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 I know a little bit of Spanish. And so yeah, I'm trying to learn Chinese. I try to I try to learn Chinese. Mm-hmm. And That's really cool. In Korean. In Korean. Oh. I see Nia, right? Are you learning another language? Are you speaking another language? I speak Spanish and sign language. I can do Ooh. the alphabet and sign language. Do you want to show us? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, M, O, P, Q, wait, Q, R, S, T, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Thank you. That was really cool. Huh? I and I learned it, um Swahili too. So oh, wow, that's four languages, including Three. English. Including English is four. Mm-hmm. But without it, it's three. That's right. Anybody else want to share before we move on? I do. Go mm-hmm. ahead, sweetie. Um, um, I can speak English, um, Spanish, and Daddy, no, La Chute, and no, and French, and French. Ooh, cool. I can speak a little bit of French. I took French from first grade and all the way to 12th grade. <laughs> My family is from Cambodia, and in Cambodia, they speak French, too. Chevelle? Um, I speak English mm-hmm. and, um, and, and mostly dog language and cat language. What? What is dog and cat language? I would like to learn. <laughs> Are you going to teach us any or no? You're muted, sweetie. Maybe. What do you want me to ask? I want to know what you know. <laughs> well, you just try and, like, if you, like, say hello, you try and use, like, you say woof, so try and make it sound like hello, but, like, go hello, then woo like try and make oh. it but she's like hello <laughs> that is super cute <laughs> anybody else want to share okay let's move on to the paper craft so you guys might have re- received a ziplock right that had some lanterns in it if you have it can you guys show it to me and if you don't have one you can use a regular piece of paper at home too. As long as you're cutting in the same form that we are, it'll be totally okay. You can do this one. I made one already too, but if you want, we can work through one together. Do you guys want to do it together? Yeah? All right. So I'm going to do this one right here. But you can do any one because you're going to cut them the same way. So let's get started. And I got a question. Yes, sweetie. Uh, can we use different colors? Do you want to color your lantern? Is can that what you're different... asking? No, can we use different colors? Can you use different color paper or different color coloring paper. utensils? Yes, you can. It'll still work with different color paper. Okay, can we do it with thick paper? Like construction paper? No, like, um, hmm. 
um thick paper like um like thick paper are you going to be able to use scissors with it um no no you want to use something that will be easy to cut oh do you okay. have do you have like a paper towel that might work if you don't have any paper or lined paper from a notebook okay okay so on my paper, I'm going to just go ahead and cut out this thick line all the way around because I don't need it on mine. But if you want to keep it on yours, you can keep it on yours. What do you mean? I see that a lot of you guys already did yours. I can't even see you. You can't see me at all? No. Yeah. Oh, I can only see. see the tag one front. Oh, there you go. Can you I see can me now? <laughs> oh, yes, I can see you. Okay, cool. So I'm starting to cut mine out. I'm sorry that you guys couldn't see me. It's because the slideshow is still on. Cut yours out here. All right, here I am cutting mine out. No, not yet. Cut, look. And I'm using giant scissors right now. Along, around the screen. They cut in there out because it came in the kit. Yep, it did come in the kit. And there's two of them in there, so you can do either one. I'm going to use the same cutting motion. I didn't get a kit. If you didn't get a kit, you can just use a blank piece of paper like this. And when we get to folding it, you can go ahead and just fold this like a hot dog. Do you want me to do it with the blank paper? Or do you guys want me to do it with this? I think I'm going to do it with this so you guys can see the lines. Is that okay? Okay, perfect. So even if you don't have the kit, you'll be able to do it at home. No worries, okay? And if you have a blank piece of paper, you can color it whatever color you want. I know they say for Lunar New Year that different colors represent different things. So you can color it like red or gold. Oh yeah, he colored Ouch. orange. <laughs> Xavier. <laughs> Looks like we have a lot of orange too because it's the year of the tiger. So I'm going to wait for you guys to finish cutting yours. Here's mine. On your paper. I'm going to cut a big square. Follow the black line. Follow the black line. Oh, sorry. I hit and if you have a blank piece of paper, just be like this. And the second step would to be to fold it Slow down. Oh, into slow down. a hot dog. So I'm not going to cut yet. I'm going to wait for you guys, but I'm just going to do it like this. And for our friends who don't have one, I'm going to go like this. Buddy, you have to cut through the black dollar line. There's no dollar line, but there's just a line. Okay? So cut nicely. Good job. Good time. Oh, we're waiting for you. You guys ready for the next part? Oh, yeah, that me finish it. <laughs> oh, who finished it? Oh, all right. Good I job. can't wait to see the final product. <laughs> all, right. all right. So when you get to right here, Look. we're going to cut these lines. You guys see these lines right here? Okay. We're not going to cut it all the way through. We're going to stop. You see how there's two different colors? Mm -hmm. We're going to stop at that white. Nia, how are you doing over there? Mm -hmm. Chevelle, how are you doing? Because actually we made one of these a long time ago. So we remember how to make it. Ooh. Do you guys make them at home just to make them also? Yeah, one time we did it. Wow. But it's somewhere else now. And I gave it to them, so... Now somewhere else. So now I need to make another. Now I'm making mm -hmm. another. I learned how to make Halloween lanterns in kindergarten. Ooh. I was in this class, this in class, and we and we used orange paper, and um, we and what we did was um, um, what we did was 
um, we glued black pieces of play board to make a face on it, like a pumpkin. I also, also for a um, new um, tradition, I don't remember, for New Year's Day, um, uh, we both made a lantern. My dad and me made a very good frog one. I made a leopard one and a regular cool purple one. Was your Halloween lantern similar to this lantern? Did you use the same cutting technique? Okay. This is just what it'll look like if you don't have one at home. Yeah, I used the exact steps just when the paper didn't look like this at all. Wow. The paper Sorry. didn't look like this. So you so. might be an expert at making lanterns. Yeah, I make I make lanterns a lot. Oh. A paper craft that my students at the school love to do mm. are making fortune tellers. Ooh. Okay. Cool. So we're always folding fortune tellers over there. Where's the tape? I'm about do you guys have tape or glue at home? Okay. Oh. Mm hmm. You know what is kind of silly, but very useful when I was little and I didn't have any glue, I would use rice. Like I would smash rice and that's how I would do some of my <laughs> projects sometimes. <laughs> yep, I so totally that know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can relate? No, yes. <laughs> Where? Wait, wait, let me make it easy. Okay, you guys, while some of you guys are working on that, I'm just going to go ahead and cut these out, okay? You see how there's that line there? Keep them tape long ways like that line. Right there? Mm-hmm. Yep, so it should look like that. I'm gonna use there. I just didn't want to make it yet without everything else, but okay. you're going to just turn it like this. I can have connect it. it. I go for one of them because... Okay, you're open a shot. Open a shot. So, yep, if you don't have the print out at home, you can do it like this. No, Mama, you're messing it up. You could do it with a paper towel if you can't find lined paper. Stop. One more. Yes. I found it. I know what to do. What were they doing? Hold on. You already cut your other. So. Yeah, that is. Wow, look at Emily's lantern. Oh my goodness. Yeah, can we this. spotlight Emily. some of the people that are finished? Miss Isabella, can you do that for me, please? I think Emily and her friends, they've all got their lanterns going on back there. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Santita, look at that. It looks great. You guys, you guys are moving faster than me tonight. <laughs> I'm still cutting. Well, I have one that's finished, but I wanted to work through it with you guys. Yeah, stick it right there, right there. There's a band aid. <laughs> At the end, is it okay if we are. all take a picture with our lanterns? Mm -hmm. Here, come on. Put okay, put the glue there. This is the kind of tape I'll be using because this is all I have. So if you guys don't have clear tape, you can use masking tape, duct tape. It might be super strong, but you can fold it super little. <laughs> okay, put glue on your beer, on your on your beer. I mean not beer, the fur of the tape. Oh, here's a picture. Look, this is how it's supposed to look like. So I'm just taping mine. You can use glue too if you have glue, okay? Oh, wait, we did and it I know it sounds silly, but you can definitely use rice. <laughs> oh no, we did it correct. Okay. Oof. I think we did it backwards. I no. see that some friends did it with the white paper like I did too. No. We, oh, we did. did. We did. Look, this goes on the other side, dude. This one goes over here. Okay, give me a little bit. I'll tape this one too. 
everybody's doing such a great job. So while I'm working on this, I want I just want to share with you guys. I personally do not celebrate Lunar New Year. I actually learned about it with you guys, but I celebrate Cambodian and Thai New Year. And I love everything that Lunar New Year stands for. So maybe I'll start celebrating myself. But I celebrate Cambodian and Thai New Year, and it's typically 14 days long. So I think Lunar New Year is probably around the same time frame, um, depending on where you're celebrating at. Nice. Mm -hmm. So I celebrate Cambodian Thai New Year. Um, I speak Cambodian Thai and Laos. Uh, so yeah, so for Cambodian New Year, I celebrate on April 14th. So my New Year isn't until two more months. <laughs> and when I celebrate for, um, for Cambodian New Year, I go to the temple. I feed our lost loved ones, their spirits, and I play lots of fun games. Um, in Cambodia, they do like water fights and a thing called Bonam Thuk. And Bonam Thuk um, yeah. is a big dragon boat race. Have you guys seen those long dragon boats that carry like 20 people on it? When I was in middle school, I used to paddle those boats. So we used to have fun events over here like that. But there's not anything as traditional over here anymore. So if I want to watch a dragon boat race, I have to watch it on YouTube when they go live in Cambodia. Yeah. If you guys want to know anything about that, too, you guys can just ask me in the comments or maybe we can do another event sharing about it. Hmm. Cool. Miss Selena, do you know why it's in April? That is a great question, and I really don't know why it's in April. Okay. We have so many different holidays aside from New Year, so I can't really say because we have different things like like Pratong, like where we like do like boats in the water and make wishes, and then we have um oh my gosh, my glasses are getting foggy. I don't know if you guys can see them. Hey, mommy has that and we do um Here. things like that bat where we would feed the monks and stuff so there's just a lot of things that we do <laughs> and it was just brought up um i was just brought up in a temple with my grandparents and i lost my grandma so i'm just very like centered to my background so i can't really say though <laughs> hey look Show your work. I'm not sure who is talking. Get up. Wait. Yeah. Is somebody sharing right now? Yeah. Two, two of you guys. Three of you guys. I see you guys now. See my lantern? Oh, your lantern looked like it's lit up already. <laughs> How did you do that? That's really wow. cool. I put a flashlight in, and this oh, one, at the bottom half, you could put there, there's only a red color you could put up. So I, inside, put this down and look. Can I spotlight you so everyone can see your lantern lit up? Mm -hmm. okay. Wow, beautiful! Oh, wow, that is such a great idea. It's really cool. I like Xavier's lantern. Thank you, everybody, for being here with us. And a special thank you to our guests. You're amazing. I learned so much today. And a big thank you to our partners as well, Clover Park School District. Thank you. I know a lot of you kids are coming from Clover Park, Bates Technical College, of course, and Asia Pacific Cultural Center, and the Chinese Reconciliation Project Organization. So thank you. You guys have a wonderful weekend.